Good morning. I'm Sandra with PlumGoodQuilting.com and I'm going to show you how I sketch out a little bunny rabbit um, on a piece of fabric. Generally I would have a background fabric that is laid down on this mat and then I would get the bunny on my mat uh, on the screen just as I have him now selecting and then I'm going to go to my blade file over here and I have him cut in many different directions well if I had a blade in there I certainly wouldn't be cutting him but in this case I'm going to be using a sketch pen and you can see the sketch pen down at this um, where my arrow is and what I'll do there is prepare my machine by putting a sketch pen in the place where the blade is and locking it back down in and now it's ready to go to the machine. If you have your mat with your fabric on top, um, I recommend starching it well and um, making sure it's flat and solid down on your fabric mat. Um, I do use the fabric mat because it doesn't have, um, doesn't have the pull on it. It doesn't stretch the fabric when I pull it off. And this is ready now to go. And if I have already hooked up my machine and have the, um, the cord from my uh, computer to my Silhouette Cameo, I'm ready to send this to the Silhouette and allow the sketch pen to trace over this entire area. Now, the beauty of this is, is that this will give me an ability then to lay all of my applique pieces down on here. And it's not going to matter if I've done, if I'm ready for needle turn or if I'm going to put an, an adhesive back and just do a fusible bunny. I still have the placement exactly where I want it. And remember that you have a 12 by 12 mat or a 12 by 24. And when I do really large pieces, I very often use my 12 by 24. And in that case, it's going to, um, it's going to sketch um, the entire thing out just as you see the red lines now and when you lay your pieces down on there that you've already cut um, they're ready to fuse or the pieces that you have uh, prepared and are ready to needle turn this is a beautiful way to get this done the metallic sketch pens are wonderful because by the time you get this on here you're not going to see the metallic anymore and it flakes off very easily. I found that it works for me great. However, there are many other pins out there and this wonderful uh, pin unit that we have that goes in the machine um, that's separate from the sketch pin allows us then to use many other different pins that we can write on our fabric or our paper. Now if I wanted to use paper um, and a light box I could sure do that if I didn't want to draw all over my, my fabric. And I've done that many times when I felt like maybe the pen wouldn't show up well or it was such a detailed pattern that maybe I didn't think the metallic would hold up as long as I would be carrying that piece around doing the needle turn. So sometimes I do choose to do it on paper. Lay the paper then after I've sketched it, lay the paper on the light box the fabric over the top and I know exactly where the placement is. It's just a beautiful way to get things done fast. And in this case, all you're going to do at this point, whether you've got paper or fabric on your mat, you're going to hit the send to silhouette and it's going to do the work for you. I hope you enjoyed this and if there are any questions, please send them to Sandra at PlumGoodQuilting.com. Thank you.